Bed bugs. French government officials say Paris is the epicenter for a blood-sucking infestation. As France prepares to welcome the world for the Olympic Games, some unwanted visitors have already taken up residence. Travel expert and host of the Globe Thotter podcast, Cassie Martinez, says in an international city like Paris, this isn't surprising. It makes sense. It's easy for these sorts of things to get out of hand. Martinez believes social platforms like TikTok and Instagram encouraged more new travelers to follow their dreams of a European holiday without knowing some of the risks. And so you have more people than ever before that are new to this and maybe experiencing or passing around bed bugs and they don't even realize it. I had one question. What hostel started this? Like what 12 bed stank ass dorm full of backpackers? Kick this ish off. Jokes aside, it's not just inexpensive hostels. Luxury hotels, the Paris metro system, and even movie theaters have been infested by punais, as the French would call the pesky creatures. Paris's deputy mayor said no one is safe and asked for coordinated efforts to get the bed bug problem under control. Bed bugs feed on the blood of warm-blooded animals like pets and humans. They're often found in mattresses, couches, and pillows, which makes tourist hotspots like hotels and hostels prime biting ground. Bites from bed bugs can cause issues that range from itchy lesions on the skin to severe allergic reactions. The only upside, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, bed bugs are not known to spread disease. While cleaning and extermination work to an extent, travelers who pick up bed bugs may have to discard their belongings. You might have to get rid of a lot of your clothes. You might have to go to the charity shop and again, look for those clothes to make sure they don't have bed bugs and just start fresh. You've got to be detached because bed bugs will attach themselves to everything. So you've got to be willing to let it go. Take precautions and be aware, but Martinez says little bugs are not a good enough reason to stay at home. A lot of people are looking for reasons to be like, nope, there it is. There's my reason to not go see the world. And it's like, honestly, do not go that route. The world is so big, so vast. You will survive. Go see the world, check your sheets, have a good time, and don't let fear run your life. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.